Hi, this is Yvonne Galusha, Business Computing Essentials Instructor. And the purpose of this little video is to show you how to complete a SIMNET exam. Remember that we have a SIMNET exam at the beginning of every application unit, and that's the pass-out exam. As I said in the class introduction session, pass-out exams are optional. You have 100 tasks, 90 minutes to complete them. They are optional because they don't count toward the normal unit work, which is completing chapter ebook exercises as well as projects, and then a final unit SIMNET exam. So, those who think they already are very proficient at the application or who just want practice doing the SIMNET exam should go ahead and take this on any of the SIMNET exams for this class. You have to do them in one setting. You cannot stop and start. And each task in the exam, you will have three attempts to get it correct. As you're working on it, as you'll see here when I demonstrate in a moment, if you get it correct on the first attempt, it will advance you to the next task. So everybody will always have to do the unit exam unless, of course, you keep your pass-out exam as your unit score. I talked about that extensively in the uh, class intro sessions, and I also have it talked about in my PowerPoint. If you weren't there, please look over the PowerPoint and the syllabus as well. So with that little introduction, let's go ahead to SIMNET. I've got a trial class here, and I'll just mention this again, that when you first log into SIMNET, you're going to see the calendar view. You will always see anything that I have made available, whether the day has occurred yet or not. In the tile or list view, you will only see that those activities that are available that you can work on right now. So I'll go ahead and start this little exam. Again, these are timed. You'll see a, a timer running. And it's very, very important that you do keep track of that time and get your work submitted. It's a little slow loading at first. But it's then you can see the start exam comes up and I'm working at home over a uh, wireless type internet connection and you'll see the performance isn't too bad. But it is important to choose times of day that are not peak internet use times and probably even best if you can do it while you're on campus. So my clock is running up here and again this is the exam where you had 90 minutes. Here you can see it has one of three attempts. I'm on question one of 100. Insert a footnote to the document, which reads, based on market survey. So how do you do that? I'm going to intentionally do it wrong. Incorrect. OK. Well, maybe it's over here. Nope, that's incorrect, too. Notice what's happening. I'm on my third attempt for this question. So let's see, insert, oh, this is a little closer, inset footer. What kind of footer do I want? That's incorrect too. What happened? It loaded me right there onto the next question. So I'm now on question two. This is where it tells you what to do. Navigate to the first record in the merge. Well, you've got a little start on two questions in the word pass out exam. Once you are done, you're going to click this X, which, by the way, if I didn't point this out, this little button allows you to increase the font size. I already might be maxed out, but on some computers, that might help as well. I'm done. I'm ending the exam. And it immediately tells you your score. I have a 0%. And if I go to Gradebook, it says when I attempted this exam and I got a 0% on it. If I look now on Assignments, you will see that that Word exam is no longer here because you can only do a, a SIMNET exam once for this class. Same thing on ListView. It's no longer there. But on Calendar, you will still see it. It doesn't mean you can do it. If I click on it here, 
see you're saying you have used all your available attempts for this assignment so it will not let me take it again so be sure and carefully prepare before you do a SIMNET exam in review I just want to say again that the pass out exam is optional It's 90 minutes of your time if you know that you don't know Excel you don't have to do that you can just skip it it will not affect your grade for the class in any way if you feel like you just want to see how well you know it go ahead and take it you will see your score on icon but unless you go up here to quizzes and designate that you want me to use the word as pass out exam as your unit score and answer yes then I still will not use that score for your unit work and I will use the normal activity so I hope this has helped you out and keep up the good work thank you